Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step by step instructions. Thanks for joining me again. In this tutorial, I want to demonstrate how to create reverse motion in your videos. It is easy to simply reverse an entire video clip, but my aim here is to create the reverse motion segment juxtaposed to the normal motion segment of your video as it is a contrast between the normal motion and the reverse motion that makes it interesting and special. I will also show how to add either a slow-mo or time-lapse effect for further emphasis. Let's get started. Here's the original Smash a Watermelon Against the Wall clip I downloaded from the internet. After you've loaded your clip onto the timeline, you need to mark off the section that you wish to apply your reverse motion effect to. Position your red timeline cursor where you wish the reverse motion to begin. Hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor and the scissors and two brackets icons should appear. If they do not, click one time. Do not use the brackets. Click one time on the scissors icon. Split selected clips or split all tracks. Now reposition your red timeline cursor where you wish the reverse motion clip to end and once again hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor and choose split all tracks. Click one time between the cut marks to activate the clip. It will turn a gray color. Now right click with your mouse and from the context menu choose copy. Do not move the red timeline cursor. Do not even touch it. Once again, right click and this time from the context menu choose paste insert. We have now copied and pasted the clip that we wish to apply our reverse motion effect to. If necessary, click one time to activate the clip. Right click and from the bottom part of the context menu you can choose reverse clip. If this is all you wish to do, you are done. However, note that when you reverse the video portion of a clip, you have also reversed the audio portion. Here are a couple of quick and easy options to change the sound if it now sounds too strange. Click on the change sound volume icon. The clip volume dialog box comes up and you have the option to either mute your clip altogether or you can use the slider bar to lower the volume of your clip. To further emphasize the reverse motion clip, you may wish to add either a slow motion effect or time lapse effect. To accomplish this, right click on your clip and from the context menu choose change clip speed. From the speed change dialog box, you can enter a value greater than 100% if you wish to create a time lapse effect or a value less than 100% for a slow mo effect. I wish to choose a time lapse effect, so I have changed the value from 100 to 300%. Note that if you are using an older version of VideoPad, you can reverse the clip and change the speed from the change speed option as seen in these screen captures. I believe the option to reverse the clip in the same dialog box as the change clip speed stopped at VideoPad version 8. I have exported our watermelon clip with the time lapse reverse motion effect added. Let's take a look. Thanks for watching. Tick that like button and subscribe to my channel. You can find Lucky Dog's life playlist, gardening playlist, and computer tutorial playlists from the links in the description below. See you next time.